All right, guys, we're up and running today. We are on the Rev One Up, and uh, we are at a different place today. I actually put the bike on the car, took off. We're about uh, 45 minutes away from my house, and uh, we're driving down a road that's very busy. And it's very busy this time of year, too, because this is the ocean. Uh, I thought I'd come up here today. They have these, all these rocks and this dirt here to keep the ocean out away from these houses over here. Because uh, when we get a storm up here, it can wash pretty much everything out. So there are some spots that we'll be able to see around. We're just going to go slow today and enjoy it, even though we're on a fast bike. All right, guys, there's the ocean out there. I believe it's low tide right now. We'll have to stop and take a look at around one of these places. Nice thing about being on a bike like this is we can keep up with the traffic, so. Well, I want to take this bike up here. Nice thing about being on this is we can go down some of these side roads up here. I rolled the bars back a little on this yesterday. It helps, I guess, a little. I bought a riser, but I can't put the riser on because the wires are too short on it, so. Can't do that. I could probably buy a bar with a little bit more rise to it. It's probably the only thing I could do here. But uh, I figured we'd come up here, come see the ocean. And all the, uh, the crowds, not a big crowd guy, but uh, get going here because we got cars on the side, we got cars in back of us. So. so, what's new other than we're at a different spot driving around? The new thing is I have a Ingui bike that came in this week. It's a, a budget bike, but it's not bad. I really haven't got a chance to ride it much, but uh, I think it's something that's definitely doable uh, that people could enjoy for the price because this thing is only $7.99. So. For under 800 bucks, you get a bike with a 750 motor on it. It's a folding bike and uh, 20 inch wheels and it seems pretty good, like I said. So uh, we'll be showing you that. I got to get my tri hauler uh, HJM tri hauler video out. I'm going to try to put it out for probably Monday night, the review on that. We're just going to drive around here, enjoy ourselves. Got to watch the battery level up here because I don't feel like uh, pedaling too far, even though it's relatively flat. So I'm going to keep the speed down here. It's the uh, bad thing about the ocean is you have to have these big banks up here so that you can't see the ocean. As a kid, you could. We didn't have these things, but the houses would get flooded out, so. A lot of uh, growth up here. A lot of uh, camps get taken down and these houses go up. I think a lot of them are year round. Just passing my car over there with a the bike on it. Didn't realize we had gone that far uh, up on the road already. But I do know you can see a little bit more of the ocean when you get down here, which is nice. A little harbor coming up here. This is probably where I'm gonna get my fish from. I like lobster, I like uh, clams, all that stuff. My wife, not so much, so I think I'll just get fish. I don't know, I'm gonna cook it, maybe fry it up. I do a really good fish fry. Stinks the whole house up, though. Yeah, definitely low tide, that's for sure. We got a uh, trike over there. Looks like an electric one. Can't identify what it is from here. Definitely got to watch traffic up here, though. 
especially when people got their car doors open. But the good thing is, we got a uh, bike that will do the speed limit, and uh, the speed limit's slow, so that's nice. This guy's just going to wander out on the road. I bet you a lot of people up here won't give me a hard time because uh, a lot of scooters and stuff up here, everybody rides uh, stuff like this. Still never figured out if there was cruise control on this. There's crews on some of their bikes. I just can't. Uh, I was supposed to hit the one of the buttons, but uh, I don't think it works. So the minus button just turns the uh, the boost on. Let's try the uh, positive and hold that. Nope. Don't know. Got the uh, tri hall. I got a uh, bunch of lights on that. Decided that I'm going to put two more lights on the front. Just amber lights so that I can have them up there when I'm uh, driving around for safety reasons. Plus, I'll be more visible at uh, night also. I was going to take it out for a night ride last night, but again, stupid hernia. By the time the end of the day comes, uh, I had been up all day working on the bikes, doing videos. And uh, my body said I was done for the day. Even though just sitting on a bike's not that hard. Um, it uh, still aggravates my hernia, so I can feel it right now. A little burning sensation. Not that you guys want to hear that, but uh, yeah. But uh, at least it's uh, not that bad. It's uh, relatively early today. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. I got an early start. Wanted to get up here before the it got warm, and it's not bad out here. It's actually chilly um, because we're on the ocean. A big flag over there. Bruce, can you see that? Nice, huh? So the ocean's right off. This is be better on the, uh, when we're coming back. You see it much better. This road gets narrow up here. i got to pay a little attention to what's going on. Put a different mount on the uh, camera, a little bit more solid one. It's off to the side, but it's a good mount. I've been putting good mounts on all my bikes, so hopefully we'll have the uh, a better time here. So this is uh, what the coast of New Hampshire looks like. If you guys can see it out here, uh, try and do the best I can here. It'd be better on the other side. Look at all these houses, though. Really nice houses. A lot of money up here, boy. These little trees here on the side of the road, those are called, uh, I believe they're uh, sea roses or something like that. Get the uh, people out here cruising around in their little sailboats. It smells like the ocean. Tell you that, it smells like low tide ocean, that's for sure. So I'm still waiting for this uh, lower basket for this bike here. Uh, they did say it would be the beginning of August, so it's not like it's late or anything like that, but I want to put that second battery in this bike. All right, now the ocean's out here. We can see a little bit. We got a uh, lobster boat out there. Cruising along here now at 33 miles an hour, three miles over the speed limit. But we don't have much of a sight on the road here, so I figured why not? There it is, guys. This is the, uh, the million dollar view here. One battery bar down. And we know when we got the two battery bars, what that did, it slowed way down, so. That's why I said, I can't wait to get the second battery on this thing so we can get some good mileage out of this thing. I know I can get 30 miles out of this battery, but uh, I definitely like to, uh, to get 60 out of it. That's for sure. The battery I put it on 
to uh, see how it would fit. It's going to fit really well. And uh, that cage will hide it in there very nicely. There's no real way to put it on right now, though. It's just one of those, uh, I won't call it square, but uh, rectangle batteries. And it's a 30 amp hour, 52 volts, so we'll get some uh, 50 volts, 50 amp hours on this bike, which would be nice. That's why I said should be able to get like 70 miles out of it. I thought about it for today, I'm like, ah, I could really do some mileage on this thing today, but ah. So we're still waiting on the cyber bike. So I got information last Friday, this is Sunday by the way, but this video will go out Saturday of next week. And uh, I got information Friday, last, not this past Friday, the Friday before that the bike was ready to ship uh, they were just waiting for UPS to pick it up. Well, they're still waiting for UPS to pick it up, so... I don't know what's going on there. They did say that uh, all bikes would be shipped... All bikes would be shipped on Friday. Uh, they've been releasing, releasing them all week. But uh, mine's still not released yet, apparently. It doesn't really matter. I can't uh, really ride it the way it intended to be ridden. I am definitely going to get on it and try to throttle it, see how the bike is, but the pedaling part of it's another story. I have to wait till uh, August 27th is my surgery. I did get on a waiting list in case somebody cancels, but as of right now, it's the 27th of August, so quite a ways away. What's today? The 28th. So it's over a month, well, just about a month away. So we're getting uh, into the heart of it now as far as being down here. So you get down into Hampton, that's where the, uh, where the everybody goes. There's uh, all kinds of stuff to do down here and uh, it's very crowded. A lot of little stores, stuff like that. All full of junk from China, like everywhere else. But I keep promising you guys I'm going to do different things, and then uh, I go and have, I get injured, falling down, twisting my ankle, and then I get this stupid hernia. So I haven't really been able to get out there. So I said, where can I take a bike that I can throttle, and uh, it'll be relatively interesting. And I said, let's go up to the beach. So on the other side of this wall, all these cars are parked here because people are out there sunbathing and swimming on the beach out there. We got here a Lotus. That's a Ferrari. So yeah, I stayed down here in a hotel a couple of times. Pretty nice. You usually get the ocean front with the view. Big bucks, but uh, it's worth it. Just do it for a weekend, usually. And if you get down here off season, you can do it reasonably priced. And over here, you get the uh, big cement wall to try to uh, block some of that ocean coming over to uh, all these new buildings over here. So it'd be better if we could see the ocean. Like I said, when I was a kid, you could drive along here and see the ocean all over the place. And uh, I guess then in the, uh, call it, uh, I don't know, modernizing, we decided to protect all the houses, and now we can't see the ocean, so. I don't know. Kind of stinks. Go up in the main, go up there further, and uh, there's uh, really nothing out there like that as far as walls, but. All the houses are right there. You can't see the ocean because all the all the houses are there. We're losing more and more of our uh, ocean views. I know we went down to uh, Florida, and uh, there were spots we went for miles and miles. We we're right next to the ocean, but we never saw it because of the uh, 
the hotels and everything else were down in. $30 for parking. I parked for free, but I uh, parked way, way down there. Good thing about this bike is, is twist throttle on it because uh, twist throttles are easier when you're going to do a lot of throttling. This hotel here, this Ashworth Hotel that we're going by now, that's where I normally stay. And I actually, uh, I was an electrician and I did wiring in that place when they built it. And I can tell you this town, uh, used to come down here when we were kids all the time. Almost every weekend we could come down here. It was more like $10 to park back then, not 40 And there's a uh, casino place here. This is a uh, place where there's concerts all the time. I'm going to tear it all down. I'm going to put a big hotel here and a... Uh, Casino. So here's all the, uh, the junk places. This is where uh, everything happens down here, where all the kids spend their money. Now this is it, guys. This, now you've seen it. This is where everybody comes to vacation up here. So uh, if you want to go to uh, Bargain World, where they have T-shirts. Uh, this is the place to go, I guess, so hopefully you're seeing all this stuff. I'm trying to turn my body so you can see this. This is uh, where all the fun happens. This hotel over here is new. Is, uh, I don't remember that. guys this is where all the, uh, the people come stop here for a minute so you guys can check this out that's it guys look at all the people looks like fun huh I don't know what do you think guys want to come down here and uh, sit on a beach it's actually pretty nice but uh, not a beach sitting kind of guy I can tell you that uh, all I can smell is marijuana. The entire time I've been cruising by here, so. And uh, it is not legal in New Hampshire. They are waiting till the state can actually uh, sell it. Because that's what they do with their alcohol. Uh, they can tax the crap out of it. And uh, they want to make all the money on it. I can remember coming up here with my parents as a kid, uh, really enjoying going to the beach. Not so much now because too many people. I'm not a people person. I am, but I'm not. We got a parasail or something over there, guys. Can you see that? It's gonna be over there pretty soon. It's pretty cool. Try standing up here, guys. See if you guys can see this a little bit better out there. It's about the last of our uh, until we get around this corner here. Then I think we got a big wall. So yeah, we now uh, we did a lot of work on that HJM trike. Put a second battery on that thing. And uh, we got all kinds of lighting on it. I got to show you guys that. The uh, second battery is a, uh, it's on the post. It's one of the external batteries. Looks like it belongs there. And uh, I can also load that bike up with batteries if I want, because I did put a port in, so that battery will plug in and unplug. It's really nice. Um, I don't know why this mirror keeps turning in. It feels really tight, but it keeps turning in. Uh, yeah, so we got batteries all on that thing. We can go long, long rides on that thing, that's for sure. And I'm trying to get it so we get it really roadworthy. Um, and then maybe we can even take it up to 
place like up here. Right? It, it, I'd be happier if it did 28 miles an hour like they said it was supposed to, but it doesn't. It goes about 23. I am going to try to um, get a little more speed out of that somehow. I don't know what they, uh, whether they're limiting it in amps or what the heck they're doing on that thing. Now, if I can shunt odd the thing and get some more speed out of it, but I'm going to try something. I know I can put a bigger pulley on it, but I don't want to kill the motor on it either, so... Um, I could change the pulley ratio on it, because the... It's a chain... It's a motor driving a chain that drives a sprocket, so... I could change the sprockets up on that, get more speed out of it. I know I can do that for sure, but again, I don't want to kill the motor on it, but if I could get it so that... Uh, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to get... I'm going to get some more speed out of that thing somehow. That wall apparently is thick enough that they can... Yeah, it's about two feet thick. I suppose it has to be. Because when those waves come pounding up on that thing, it, uh, it knocks over quite a few things. Here comes a electric trike. Look like a electric. One good thing about being on this bike, if there was traffic, I could go around it. That's why a lot of people up here use scooters. And electric bikes, I'm sure, could be very popular up here. So I heard a, I was watching another video of the, uh, this bike, but with the uh, dirt tires on it. Man, do those things growl. I'm so glad I didn't get that, even though it's a really cool looking bike. These people are uh, trying to get a parking spot. So they just sit there and wait and hope that somebody leaves. No vacancies all over up here. I noticed that when I was driving down here. So when I go home, I may put some more lights on that HJM. Like I said, I got the lights came in this morning. I want to put those on. Then I'm all done with lights on that. And I think I'm pretty much done other than changing the gearing up on that bike. But that thing is, uh, it's definitely, uh, that's a, that's a, uh, I don't know, I was going to say a, a lifetimer because that's a nice, nice trike and I plan on when I retire having something like that to get around. Uh, probably in, instead of a golf cart because I think we're going to end up living in uh, a regular house rather than in an association type thing. Because if I keep doing this business, I can't have track the trailer trucks showing up and UPS every day. If you're in an association, they're going to bitch and moan at you. And uh, I don't want to have to move, and I don't want to have to rent a separate building to do it. So we're, we're considering the Carolinas right now. I think I told you that, but anybody out there that... Uh, is watching that hasn't heard me say it. And uh, my wife would like to be in North, and I don't know, I guess I'm not opposed to it. I just don't want the, uh, the winters. So anybody that lives in North Carolina, let me know how your winters are. I don't wanna, I don't, I know I, I talked to somebody in South Carolina, they said, yeah, they have snow once in a while, but it's all gone by 11 o'clock. So that's why I said South Carolina. And uh, my wife would like to be closer to Maryland, as she has a friend that lives there. Um, and I'd like to get her closer, if I could. And I, I, I just really, you know, if I could have 50 degree days, for the most part, I, I realize every once in a while if it's cold, I can deal with that. I just don't want weeks of it, or months of it. Yeah, I'm sick of, uh, sick of the cold cold. Get another beach over here. And uh, definitely low tide. Get a jet skier out there, but I don't see the guy in the, the parasail thing again. Oh, actually, he's way out there. You guys probably can't see it because I know these cameras don't go that far. I had the uh, camera that I use at home now. That thing's got a really good zoom on it. 
All right, we'll continue on here and uh, see if we can find another place to pull over because there is some good places to pull over here. This road gets narrow, so I might have to uh, move it along here a little bit. All right. Got a lot of birds sitting out there on that stone. Don't ask me what they are. They don't know. Some sort of duck, I would imagine. Nothing exciting to see out here, though. We don't even have any good waves. Sometimes we get some really good waves, but uh, not today. Got some lobster traps out there. Got a, uh, definitely got a haze out there today. Can't see that far. All right, off to the next location here, guys. You used to be able to park here, but they don't let you anymore. Now it says no parking, even though it's a parking place. So all these uh, houses over here, they used to just run their sewage pipes. I used to see them when I was a kid. They'd be sewage pipes coming out there and they dumped their sewage right into the ocean. So I guess that's one of the, uh, the better things now that's happened. You don't have that problem anymore. Be a nice place to pull over here if I could. But... ducks out there or whatever they are. When I was a kid there was nothing but seagulls out here. I don't know where the seagulls all went to. I think they all went to McDonald's inland because now we used to have pigeons inland. Now we have seagulls. So uh, I don't know. The environment changes I guess and so don't the animals. Busted up wall here probably from the ocean coming through. That's why they uh, End up doing it with cement now, two feet thick. That sidewalk there, you can see it all busted up from uh, the ocean knocking it all over the place. Situational awareness, you gotta be up here with all these cars, that's for sure. And bikers. It's kinda nice to be able to uh, just keep up with the traffic here. And people are more aware up here because there's so many people on scooters and stuff that it's relatively safe. Back in the old days, it, uh, it wasn't as much because there was a lot of uh, drinking and driving going on. Not so much, hey, 72 Pinto had one of those. Doesn't sound too good. It's safer for me to be out here with the cars than it is on the edge of the road here, so. Nice day out though, I'll tell you. I couldn't have picked a nicer day, probably. Not too much sun beating down on me. It's up above the, uh, the haze and the clouds here. But it pokes its head out once in a while. I lined the uh, fenders on the uh, trike too with the plastic, because they were aluminum fenders on that. And, uh, I plan on taking that down the rail trails. And I didn't want to listen to clink, 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 clink. So I line it with that plastic. We'll see how that works out. It works well on the other bikes. Staying in traffic again here. Somewhere up here my car is, so I gotta watch for it. Yeah. all right guys this will conclude our ride today so we will see you next saturday and uh i'll try to find another place and we'll do this all over again so thanks for coming with me guys 
For those of you guys that have not subscribed yet, please do and hit that like button on the way out. Thank you very much.